Lebanon is a nice country. It's uh, one of the best in the Middle East, but because of the situation of our government and economical problems, like the government like stopped our money in the banks. Now, now it's very like going down. But still, like nightlife, it's the best. Best food. Yeah, it's a nice country. Beirut is the capital. Yeah, Beirut is the capital. You know how I came to know about Lebanon and Beirut? How? You know Chuck Norris? The actor Chuck yeah, Norris? Yes, yes, you, yes. You used to have jokes yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was watching a movie. A plane gets hijacked. Uh-huh. And uh, the movie is so interesting till the end. And suddenly a hero comes out of a plane and he goes and <laughs> saves all the hostages. The hostages are taken to Beirut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Beirut, Beirut, I remember that Beirut. So that's yeah, the first recollection. It's the Paris of Middle East. Uh-huh. That's what they always say. Ah, okay. Yeah. Must be beautiful out there. How's yeah. the weather? My Nepal is more beautiful. I love Nepal now. <laughs> <laughs> I can agree. <laughs> yes. How's the weather there? Uh, close to Nepal weather, like in winter cold and summer hot. Just the main difference is in summer we have beach there. Here, like mm. the only thing is that there's no sea. That's the dif- difference. But like in winter, it's the same uh, cold, mm. cold. We have river sites here. Yeah, I've been to one. I like it. It's, You've it's already great. been there. Where? Yeah, I don't know. We went with the team for uh, Gold Cup. Ah. Okay. And I've seen many there, yeah. Okay. We were in low places. Mm-hmm. It was nice, yeah. Yeah, there are places like there's a saying uh, one of my brother is a YouTuber. Uh-huh. Uh Sisan Banya, he's Nepal's biggest like vlogger and uh-huh. big uh, inspiration to all of us. So he once told me and that really hit me hard that he told me that <laughs> Nepal is such a country, even though being small, if you start traveling Nepal, it's gonna take you more than ten years to finish. Yeah, so many virgin, so untouched many, places. So many places to go, and uh, very big. No, for me, I saw it's very big. I really like it. Just need to visit Everest uh, base camp. Yeah, oh, you want to climb it? I want to climb it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see after my injury, <laughs> oh, and we'll all can do a podcast after that. <laughs> of course, <laughs> like Everest. Yes, I think the world knows us because of the Everest. Yeah, that's the main. Like when you say Nepal, it's Mount Everest. Uh, it's well known. Uh, yes. So, how's the football in Lebanon? Uh, actually, it's a uh, high level uh, football. Uh, economically, it's very good. We have many teams that pay good money. It's different from the government. Like about our situation in Lebanon with the money is bad, but as football, it's really good. We get the best foreigners. Uh, it's just some uh, stadiums. We have some problems in stadiums that they need to fix. But like us Lebanese players, we like to go abroad to be as a foreigner, playing as a foreigner. But as Lebanese, the Premier League, it's it's a high level. Uh, actually, four years ago, one team from our country won the AFC Cup. So um, it is high. High level. The, like proper professional football. Uh I'm telling you, the only thing that you cannot say it's proper professional because of the lack of the stadiums we have. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, that's the biggest problem we, we have there. So, how did you find Nepal? As a life? Yeah, life here. Yeah. I really love it. I feel like Nepal, you know, like mm-hmm. I would stay another 10 years, no problem. Like uh, people here are very friendly. It's such a nice country. Everything is here. So, why to leave? <laughs> You're staying in one of the most beautiful places in Kathmandu, Patan. Yeah, Patan Square. The Darbar Square, the vibes there in the, the evening. Vibes, yeah. Have you taken a stroll around there? Always, every day. And uh, the nice thing about this area is uh, it's the base of my team. So, all the fans there, mm-hmm. are like I always meet them and such friendly people. And I really love them. Like They give us motivation. They also tell you to score a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, a bit like shocking to me because I'm here to save the team and then they're asking me to score. At first, I was thinking they were joking, but no, sometimes it's serious. And I was like shocked. <laughs> it's fans and you need to accept anything they say, of course. Like, Parton, where do you like to hang out? Actually, there's a nice restaurant there called Casa. Perfect place. I like to sit there, chill. And the owner of the place, uh, Amrish, is such a good guy. Mm. A brother to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill place, Nepal. Only a bit polluted? No, in Lebanon it's polluted too. Okay. Yeah, it's all the same. So, used to that. I'm used to it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've also participated in pageant. And you won. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I liked like for a certain of time 
to try something new like modeling. I wasn't uh, having Mr. Lebanon in my mind, but somebody told me just compete in it and go for it. And I was playing in this time with the champion of Lebanon. I was like, mm. no, it doesn't work with me, but I don't know. I just took the this advice and I went for it. And uh, I won Mr. Lebanon. Wow. Uh, Th- this was which year? 2018. 18. Okay, well. So, you know, when you win Mr. Lebanon, you directly need to go internationally to compete for Lebanon. And I won Mr. Asia 2019 in Thailand. And in Mr. International, Mr. World, I was in top 10 semifinal. So it was really a good, uh, nice, small experience for me. I kept it on the side and back to football, uh, mm-hmm. my main uh, career. Yeah. It's very impressive. Because I've never heard a player <laughs> who's currently playing at the, like, in a good form and also already experienced pageants and won it. It was like something crazy for me, but I did it. Nice. In life, it's always nice to have a new experience. True. Every day is a new lesson, something new for us. So why not try everything? New adventures. Yeah. You know, about Nepal, I wanted to, I forgot to say a little earlier. You know the movie Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings, yes. It was shot in New Zealand, right? Yes. They were actually planning to shoot it here in Nepal. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Dhangari, you went to Khaptar? Yes, yes. It was planned to shoot in Khaptar. Uh-huh. Because it's Koptar is a national park. Yes. Beautiful scene. Uh-huh. Untouched area. But because at that time we had like civil war. So yeah. they didn't come. That's the main problem in Asia. Civil war, wars in every country. Problems. It always makes us like under Europe. But actually we deserve to be higher. All of us in Asia. Yeah. True. But thankfully there's no war. But like there are no good leaders. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about your country. Every country has its own. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, how's Nepali football? Actually, I was surprised when I came here. I was really surprised. It's a nice league. You have very nice players. Okay, maybe some small issues like uh, if they give just more sponsor for the league, more money, it will be super high and a different level. But now it's nice if you can see all teams are competing for the title mm. and many teams competing for relegation so there's too much competition everybody's the same there's no like uh, big difference so that makes a good uh, combination and it will make a good national team and I hope the best for the national team in the south uh, I really is gonna support Nepal wow. and I hope the best uh how did you come in contact with Three Star? I'm really interested to know that. Uh, it's uh, Coach Mehraj, Sir Mehraj. Mehraj Dai. Mehraj okay. Dai, yeah. He's uh, one of the best coaches I've ever met. Uh, I actually spoke with him last season for NSL. Hmm. And uh, many teams were approaching me, but when he contacted me, I was like directly, of course, I'll come for you. Wow. And But it got postponed last season. Yeah. So this season, uh, also I was contacted from many A-division clubs. But when Sir Maharaj uh, called me, of course, I will not say no. And especially when he said three-star, like mm. coming to three-star, biggest fans almost in Nepal, one of the biggest team. Of course, I'll not say no. It's really... Three-star has always been a giant in Nepali football. Yes, I have seen their history. And until now, they're the best. As management, amazing. Players, look, we're we're not just a team, we're a family in this Mm. team. Yeah. Especially also the president that helps the team too much, Mr. Arun. Mm. I really like, thank you. Such a gentleman. Such a gentleman. With all the management with him, Mr. Sanjeev, and all of them, they are amazing. Really, like, they are with us in the bad days before the good days. Mm. Especially when I got my injury, they were like next to me <clears throat> all the time. I was really surprised. They they acted with me as a fam like I'm a family member with them. That's what I love about three star. Yeah. You know, I was there uh, after your post match. You guys go to eat in yeah. the swimming pool area. So last year I used to come there often. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's always been my mentor for yeah. commentary. Such and a good guy. Amazing. Right. I would say good human being. Yes. Right. Because the way, not just for commentaries, but if I have some problem, I call him, yeah. I discuss with him, and he gives me such a good solution. Uh, motivation, inspiration. Yes. 
and uh, I came to after the one with Monang. Yeah. Uh, so after the game, I was there. I saw you. I think sitting there. Yeah. But no, we didn't talk before that. Oh, so okay. I also uh, the game. I think you guys drew the game or lost the game. Yeah, we drew. And for us, three star, if we draw a game, it's yeah. like a loss yeah. because we are competing for the league. Yeah, and this year, seriously, like as a team, we had amazing results, winning the cup in uh, Dangadir. Mm. Uh, coming back here, competing for the league to take it. So I think we were ready to win the league. Uh, some bad luck happened to us. Uh, some issues happened in the team. As you can see now, we're far seven points from being first. Nothing is impossible. But if we finish top three, also it's like something perfect for us after passing to bad times. Yeah, You had eight clean sheets. Yes. And you came late. I was also close to the ninth before getting injured. but yeah. <laughs> So that doesn't count, right? Doesn't count because okay. minute 70, I was out of the game. Okay. So if it, I think they didn't count it. Okay. Yeah. So you missed how many starting matches? I think the first game and now three games. So it's four games missing. Yeah. But you're still top of the table. Still top. Uh, look, it's coming from hard work. When you ha have hard work and you have a goal in your mind, uh, nothing is impossible. But you can see sometimes you cannot, uh, uh, how can I say, like continue playing if an injury happens. It's something not from my hand. Uh, I know if I continued, I really could have done way better. I'm really proud of where I am, proud of what I did for the team and for myself. And why not? Maybe if I'm back now, still nothing is uh, over. The season is still on. I still have a chance, but maybe it's a small chance because I'm out for uh, some time. But yeah, nothing is impossible. I want to thank my goalkeeper coach, uh, Uzul. Yeah. He's such a good guy and uh, he was really next to me in this time. Yeah, so we were helping each other to be there. Why not? The season is not over yet. <laughs> it's not over until it's over. Uh -huh. Until the referee blows his whistle. Yeah, true. True. It's fun. Uh, it's just entertaining to see players like you coming in because we've only seen the African players and we're used to it. Uh, the Nepali is supporting yes, the, yes, for fan yes. base. So it's always good to see a young player coming from a place like Lebanon, right? Mm. So uh, how much competitive do you think a division is? It is because like as you can see in the table, six, seven teams fighting for the first position and the other six, seven teams are very close for the relegation. All of them are the same. I think when I came here, I opened the door for Lebanese players. I actually got uh, my friend to Sankata. He's playing there. Another striker who has came to Nepal Police. He, had, he got three man of the match in four games. Mm. Uh, it's like now we're three players here. And actually one player came in the beginning of the season to Himalayan Sherpa. But I don't know, some condition happened with him and he left. So this year, like four Lebanese were in the league. Uh, something good. Opening a door for Lebanese coming here, making all we're helping the league to be higher and a better standard. And we like they help us, we help them. It's really good. Sometimes you need to you need a change, not always to get some players from some certain continent. I know it's maybe the price difference and all this, but something from us, something from them, and we can work it out. No problem. Yeah, it's all about playing the game. Playing the game. Just keep playing. It's love. It's passion. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Also, uh, you know, I think uh, since I do commentaries and I do media work and I get to travel a lot. Yeah. So traveling brings a different kind of energy. Completely. You get to know the culture, you 100%. get to know the people, you get to know life. So how has that experience been? Uh, I've always been out of my country since I was young. Like being in my country wasn't something special for me. Uh, I started my youth career in Cyprus uh, with Apoel Nicosia. They are mm. actually playing Champions League. I played with them under 19 Champions League. Wow. So I stayed like three, four years abroad, came back to Lebanon. After having a good time in Lebanon, I played in Maldives for three, three seasons. So, and now in Nepal, I think I've been a long time out of Lebanon. It's such a good experience. And as a goalkeeper, I'm lacking more experience. Because, you know, uh, we play more until 40 yeah. and having all this experience is really good for us. Yeah. As they say, a goalkeeper's career starts after he's 30 years old. Yeah, but uh, I started it when I was 17. I was in the national team. So it was really like uh, nice. And the road is really long. 
if I stay alive, of course. <laughs> Who's your favorite all time of like goalkeeper? <clears throat> Actually, like there's two. Uh, currently, Neuer is still for me the best, but I like a character of a goalkeeper who's a captain and a legend. It's uh, Iker Casillas, such a perfect goalkeeper, holding a team like Real Madrid and staying with them. Uh, that's the hardest thing. You can be a goalkeeper for any team, but Real Madrid as a big team and being the captain, I think it's the hardest thing because goalkeeping is not just jumping and diving. Uh, it's uh, about the character. It's about charisma, how to hold the team, how to motivate the team. Yeah, it's mentality more. Okay. So, uh, apart from goalkeeper, which player, outfield player? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Cristiano. Have you met him? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a motivational guy for all players. I think uh, he's the best. He didn't deserve uh, what happened to him in the last uh, one year. Or also in the World Cup. Like You can see everybody all the time against him. But this made him stronger and showed us he's 38. Even though he's 38 and everybody's against him, he was doing the best. For me, no comparison to Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, the best thing about Ronaldo, I think, is <clears throat> the amount of hard work he puts in his... Uh -huh. Yes. World Cup was okay. He didn't have a strong team. They went out. It was Not only this. Like, having a coach putting Ronaldo out. I mean, who... What is this? Uh, <laughs> what is this? Like, uh, unbelievable. Seriously. And I think uh, him going to Manchester United was a wrong decision because... The game had to be shifted uh, according to Ronaldo. But Ronaldo, if you can see, he scored 32 go goals the season uh, before this. So I think he was doing really well. Mm -hmm. Until a coach came in there with a different mentality. Yeah. Sometimes you are surprised from coaches that have a different mentality. They don't want like a special player in the team. They just mm -hmm. want one unit. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't work always. You can see United now didn't do anything. I don't think uh, losing Ronaldo was a big problem for them. Yeah. They thought it was good. No. Mm. But no problem. Uh, Ronaldo now is doing good in Saudi. And you never know. Maybe he'll be back in Champions League. <laughs> okay. So, like, which religion do you follow? I'm uh, Muslim. But, uh, of course, I'm… Sorry, uh, damn, man. Muhammad. Uh, uh, but, of course, I'm open for everybody. I'm… Uh, open-minded guy. I come from an open-minded family. And especially in Lebanon, we are super open-minded. We don't have any like uh, uh, rules or anything. So I love just to meet everybody. I like to learn about different religions. It's really nice. Like in Nepal, I have learned about two new religions. I really was interested and I'm really interested to know more. It's such a nice uh, culture here. So yeah. Which two religions in Nepal? Uh, the, the Buddha and the Hindu. I think. Yeah, uh, and Hindi. Hinduism. Yeah, it okay. was really uh, like nice knowing and seeing these temples and knowing more about this culture. I really like it. Yeah, it's always nice to learn in life. The best part about traveling is knowing other knowing cultures, people. other uh -huh. religions. Religions are so interesting. I find yes. it so interesting. Yes, yes, true, true. It's really interesting. And uh, it's nice, like, every person has their own religion. You believe in something. And it's nice. Really. The religion of football is also really beautiful. Football is something different. Like, it's a different world. Especially for me, it's, like, everything for me. I can put football number one in my life. I just love it. Like, I'll do anything for it. Always. Since day one until the end. I'll die for it. <laughs> Same pinch. <laughs> so, like, uh, how did you like start playing football? How did you get into it? I was around 11 years old. Uh, I was playing as an outfield player. And one coach just saw me and said, you should be a goalkeeper. And I was like, no, no, no. He said yes. And he's the one who like took care of me for three years. Uh, waking me up at 5 a.m., training every day, uh, not going to school. Uh, he did like everything for me just to be the best goalkeeper and start going to national team and young level. Uh, this was one of my best mentors. He passed away. Uh, I always remember him because he was the one who made me love football. Yes. Because of your height also? Height, uh, body. Um, yeah, he was always focusing for strength. Mm. I remember, yeah. 
such a good guy. You also sing. Sing. Yeah, I have one song. <laughs> yeah, you know how to play guitar. No, it's hard for me. Oh, you would be the first guy to play this. <laughs> really? It's hard for me. <laughs> oh, you hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forgetting I, things. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I, I told you, I like to do many experiences in life. Mm. Uh, I also had this experience. They wanted me as a model and then like they told me, can you sing? Because it was Greek and Arabic. Mm. I was like, okay. And I sang with the song and it was really nice. Which song did you sing? Uh, Perimeno. It was me, Mr. Lebanon with Mr. Mr. Sorry, Miss Greece. And we had a nice combination. It's really a nice music and it was nice, yeah. So if uh, people see you, like if they don't know that you're a footballer, they say, you look like a rock star. Really? Guns, pants, leather oh. jackets. <laughs> tall guy. Thank you. Uh, it's nice, nice. Nice always to be like not known who you are. Yeah. It's really good. To be you, like you listen to rock and roll, or metal. And what's what's your favorite genre? I might listen to everything. Uh, I don't have something special. Mm. Uh, I listen to everything. Music is just something nice to me. What, what's your favorite band? Ah, you're putting me like under pressure. I don't have a special band, uh, but like one guy, I really like his songs. Maybe it's more love than this. James Blonde. Uh, James Blunt. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Such a, such a good, yeah. He's beautiful. Amazing Goodbye, guy. my lover. Such a good guy, yeah. I like him. There was a time when this song was everywhere. Yeah. And especially now, like Coldplay. Ah. He's doing good. Uh, yeah. I, I really love this song. Uh, something just like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think oh. this is for uh, chain sm- smokers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, chain yeah, smokers. Yeah. yeah. The lyrics really, I think it relates to a player as well. Yeah. So Something just like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So whenever I'm down, I go and you listen, listen to this ah, song. Nice, nice. Yeah, you remember there's this, uh, there was this advertisement of Nike. Yeah. And they had this song uh, by The Killers. Yeah. I got soul, but I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love it's always like when you get special words for a special advertisement it means like True. it's never like they just put any song no no they always give a good uh, message to the people yeah another good one that you can relate to sports is uh, imagine dragons yeah they such a good they, fight they, they have something? believer uh, believer believer, believer yeah, yes. yeah yeah believer. yeah True. It's fun. yeah yeah it's <laughs> fun it's fun <laughs> i used to play drums in a band Oh, nice. Uh, hard rock band. Uh-huh. Play a metal. Athlete. So you're too into hard rock and you like it. Yeah. Nice, like, nice. Especially in Nepal, the underground metal scene is like… Yeah, great. I've seen it. It's really nice. Yeah. If there's any concert gigs happening, I'll take you there. Because yeah. uh, recently, there's a b- very famous band called Albert Ross. Okay. So they recently had their album launch. Uh-huh. Have you been to Purple Haze? Purple Haze. No. It's yet. the best rock bar in Nepal. Really? And I can undoubtedly say that it's better than hard rock. Uh-huh. I will go one day. Yeah, the place is like heaven for me. Perfect. <laughs> uh, and the owner of the place is a Liverpool fan. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Arsenal, Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> and he went to the UK. Yeah. And he went to piss in front of Everton Stadium. Oh. He pissed in front of Everton really? Stadium. <laughs> it's fun. So he loves Liverpool a lot. It's a big time. He only shows Liverpool's games there. Uh huh. So it's a fun place. Nice, nice. Music is good. The bands are good. We should go. We'll take Sanjeev Silpakar there as well. Of course. You know, I and Sanjeev Day have been planning to go af- somewhere after the game, but uh-huh. we never go. Sometimes busy schedules happen. And that's... Family, work, and it's yeah. already late. So I have told him. You that... knew, like life is passing so fast. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Where, did you get any offers in the first Nepal Super League? Yes, I got. I was coming for Elam, uh, especially. That was the second edition. Before that? No, the first, I, w- I couldn't speak with anybody because in this moment, I was with Club Eagles. Yeah, we had the FC Cup. And I was really like focused to be with them. Yeah, we had the really? AFC Cup in this uh. moment. We had a match against Bengaluru. And the, edition, like, the transfer was very short for this time. Corona so, issue um, also. Michi D. Elam, our Piyush Suhang. You met Piyush? Piyush Nopani. Yes, yes, yes. He's doing the FIFA Imagine. club course. Yes, yes. Such a good guy. Uh, they understand football. Uh, they want to do something. Uh, that's why I, I chose Elam. Uh, it was really a good, uh, good team. 
also Jappa was speaking to me and Jappa was trying very hard and uh, uh, there was like one in their management called uh, Christian Manoz mm. he's such a good friend to me uh, they are trying hard so let's see for the future and I'll be still uh, nothing confirmed Piyush and I have a history together ah. a very dear friend of mine yes so we always call each other in the evening and we went out especially me yeah so he's a hardcore liverpool fan uh -huh. and we used to watch the game together we used to banter each other uh -huh. and we never go hand in hand but we're like very close friends uh -huh. and that guy yes. is for me as a friend or that guy is someone who can change nepali football if given yeah, if the given authority like and responsibility yeah, yeah. Ah, sometimes uh, some people like can find something in them like they can do too much just they need the power and i hope he gets it i think nepal's uh, during when before it was postponed nepal super league you also you were also announced i guess in nepal yeah i was announced for elam for yeah. it was like uh, 90% confirmed mm. i was coming to elam uh, because of the coach and now you can see i'm in three star because of the coach but really the coach met me to people that i really now love as my family like uh, I would renew with three star without asking how much. Like, mm -hmm. I really love this team now. It's a part of me. Three star is one of me right now. Uh, I really love them all of them, and especially the president. Mm -hmm. Such a good guy. Like, uh, for me, he's like my father right now. Mm -hmm. I really thank them for everything. I wish I can do more for them. And yeah, it's three star. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, for three star. Yeah. So. Uh, I have this, I don't know, a kind of connection with that club because uh, when I was growing up, a lot of my favorite Nepali players were playing for three star. Uh -huh. And there was a time, three star, I think they participated in eight or nine tournaments in a season. They yeah. won everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That history they won. I've seen their history through. This, their area is also. That's a history. That's why when you say three star, it's like, it's three star, big team. Uh, like when you say Barcelona, Real Madrid, mm -hmm. or in a country. Uh, Man United, Liverpool, it's a history. Arsenal, it's a history. Three. <laughs> yeah, it's history. Like you can't just look at football right now. You should see their history. So when you look at the history, look at Arsenal. Such a big history. Man so, City, no history. <laughs> <laughs> but they made it to the finals. Yes, I think they're going to win it. Look, now football has changed a lot. But uh, they're going to win it. Yeah, as, after seeing them like playing very good yesterday against Real Madrid. They really had a good game. But uh, for me, like I'm a Ronaldo fan, so I'm not with uh, Pep, uh, oh. Pep's mentality. But good luck for them. Good luck for Inter. I wanted uh, to see AC Milan in the final after a long time. Yeah, uh, it's good. I uh, think uh, the last time they were there with Mourinho. Yeah. No, AC Milan, no, with Mourinho. Uh, I think... No, it's uh, Inter. No, you mean Inter. Inter. I, I said I wanted to see AC Milan. Hey, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I was like a small guy, I, I used to like uh, AC Milan a lot, so I was really happy to see them, see them in the semi final after a long time. But I don't know what happened to them in the semi final, yeah. Yeah, did you see the video where the uh, AC Milan ultras were uh talking to the players? Yeah, that oh, was really scary. special. No, but that's special, scary, yes, special, and uh, it was nice how players were explaining. But I'm telling you, sometimes in football, it's a lack of experience when you don't have the experienced players that can play in the final and final of Champions League, one of the biggest tournament in the world. It's a problem. As you can see, Arsenal have have been fighting for the league all the season. Mm. Last two three games because of the experience, mm. you can see them now like mm. second. Um, that's really in football. You always in the final editions, you need experienced player, not young players. So you need to. I think it's more about the character. Experience, experience character. means character. It's yeah. charisma. When you have a charisma, why did I say like Cassius, my best goalkeeper? It's charisma, character guy. He played many finals. He knows how to control situations. Okay. Like maybe he can make a mistake and continue the, the, the game. That's an experienced player. But a young player might play very good. One, ex okay, one mistake can put him down. Mm. That's the, the main uh, problem, yeah. Right. So like uh, playing... <laughs> Like around 26 games, 26 games yeah. in such short duration, isn't it hard for the players? Super hard. Like, uh, 
I don't think in Europe they do this. Mm-hmm. If they play two games a week, they might take three days off with recovery, with, uh, you know, the, their facilities. So it's really tough for us players. Like, we're getting into injuries that, it's really like not from us because imagine every two or three days you have a game. That's not, uh, not we're, we don't have time to train. We don't have time to recover. It's really hard for us. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. And also, I think uh, for people working around football, it's difficult for them. Like five months around non-stop you're working. Like yeah. from a commentator's point of view, uh, like in uh, other leagues, you do one or two games a week? A week. Right. And that will be better for fans. Like when you have a game in the, on the weekend, you'll see many fans coming, sure. many people coming. A player will finish his game, next day off, mm-hmm. day after recovery, then will train two, three days, very good for the game and be ready for the game. But now we don't even have this because we finish the game, the next day, just one training after game. Like sure. uh, we don't even realize yeah. what's yeah. happening. Like, you can't even be happy from of the three points because uh, you'll have another game like in 24, 48 hours. That's really hard for us. Um, I hope they will look at the schedule and for next season, I can give a recommendation. If you can do it single leg, no problem. 13 games, but every game, mm-hmm. every weekend, one game, it will be very nice. A very nice league. Uh, more fans will come. That will be better for players and better for the fans and for teams, I think, yeah. So there's uh, one Gold Cup yeah. that happens in Pokhara. Yeah. It's called the Aharara Gold Cup. True, it's, yeah, yeah. I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best part about that is it's Pokhara. It's Pokhara, the, Pokhara yeah. is the Vegas. Tourist. Uh, and you don't need to go to the pubs or clubs. You just take a stroll around the lake, Peva Lake. You find peace. They're like places there. Yeah. You want to uh, just chill. You go to a place called Pame. Ah, okay. The fish, local fish is famous okay. there. Yeah. Uh, around 10 years ago, there was like only one or two restaurants there. Now, you can find 15 to 20. Really? Amazing places. I have Every to visit call Pokhara, yeah. And the next time you go there, it'll be fun. Maybe for the yeah. Pokhara Gold Cup. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then last year, uh, it was September... I went uh, to do the first Nepal's National Futsal League. Yeah. So there are like 10 teams. And uh, it was the A Division Futsal League. Uh-huh. So we were there for around 25 days in Pokhara. Every day, two or three games, alternately. We used to get exhausted, come back or to hotel and we used to think like, oh, I'm going to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a shower and you're fresh. Just go, Let's yeah. go out. It's, it's the fun. vibes. It's, it's the nature the vibe. vibes also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The stadium there is amazing. Actually, about talking about the cup, uh, us three star this season we won uh, one gold cup in uh, Dangadi, I think. Uh, Kaptar. 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 If I'm not wrong, I, I think. think you, Kaptar, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, one of the biggest prize cups in Nepal, so it was really a very good uh, achievement for the club mm. and for uh, for all of us players. Mm. Uh, yeah, so we we were the champion this year. So how do you find the management of the league? They're doing good. They're, they're doing their best. But the, the only problem is maybe they're not having the sponsor. That's it. But as doing as having like what they're doing now with the least amount, no, they, they are doing well. You you cannot say anything else because that's what they have right now. Like you have this cup. Mm-hmm. Uh, you cannot fill more. That's you know, that's the water you have. You cannot put more. So they're doing really good, yeah. How many countries did you go and play? Uh, as sign in a team or like with national team? Uh, 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 with uh, clubs. With clubs. Uh, I've played in uh, Cyprus, uh-huh. two clubs, Apoel and Salamina. In Lebanon, I've played with Safa, Akha, Shabab al uh and Tripoli FC. Uh, in Maldives, I've played with Club Eagles and the Grande. And now in Nepal, I play with Three Star uh, Club. Okay. Yeah. Quite a good experience. Yeah, it's a long one, big one. Uh, I've played many AFC Cup games also. Every team I used to go, they used to participate in AFC. So yeah, it's such a long, uh, long time. <laughs> How do you find the players of Nepal, the professionalism here? The players. The players. They're trying, they're doing their best. Uh, I've heard many players have went to Australia mm. 
to find better jobs. But for my like vision, if they focus here and continue and uh, there is good sponsor for the league next season, no, it's better if they stay here and they can improve here. And you're like, Nepal is not bad. The league is not bad. So why stay? And the league will get better. Because what I heard and what I saw, the league is uh, going to improve. So it's better if they stay. Like, give it a head, give it a chance. True. Yeah. So always be hopeful. 100%. That's me. I'm always hopeful. Never lo- lost hope. <laughs> That's life, I guess. Yeah. That's how you take. So like just like footballers do, one game at a time, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Yeah. Like just don't think about tomorrow. Think about now, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. everything will work. Plan for tomorrow, but don't think about. Tomorrow. Have a goal yeah. in your mind, but focus on what you're doing right now. Because if you're just gonna think about the goal, you're gonna lose what you're having right now. And be like thankful for what you're having. And when you lose in life, it's not the end of the world. When something happens. Like I have a quote of Rocky Balboa also, it's on my hand. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's mm-hmm. about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Rocky Balboa. Yeah. I love that part. That's my my best. <laughs> I have downloaded that part. Yeah. I have it in my phone. So at times I look at it. Always. I always look at it. It's written on my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dang. <laughs> nice. I'll, I'll also get this one because yeah, I yeah. love those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what tattoos do you have? You can see that. Yeah. It's a tribal kind of thing. Uh, this is the lion. The lion. I like to be a lion. Uh, the king. 32 is my lucky number. Mm. Ah, Rocky Balboa uh, coat. Yeah, on my leg. Uh, some eagle. Mm. I played with eagles, so I like ah, to make okay. support them an eagle. Yeah. Some crazy things. <laughs> So you're doing so good in the league and suddenly you collide with a player and dislocate your hand. Yeah. Uh, it happens in football. That's uh, part of a game. And I need to accept this, but I might be back soon. So it's not a big problem. I'm just sad for the team because the team now is passing to bad, through bad times. Uh, I just don't want them just to think about me. I want them to focus and I am with them. And uh, if they do good results, hopefully I'm soon with them and uh, we can still fight for the league. So they know this. Uh, I have spoken to them. They're my family. They're my brothers. And we will do it. I, I have a feeling like nothing is over yet. Nothing. Uh, which team were you playing against? Friends? Friends club, yeah. Mm-hmm. Against friends. You can see in the video your hand is rotating. Yeah, it happens. In football, always injuries happen. For me, it's normal. Like, I have also broken my jaw before. I just put it back, continue after a week. Mm-hmm. So, I think maybe another 10, 15 days and I can recover. So, I think maybe I can make it for the last three games. Let's see. thinking of coming back. Yeah, of course. And I heard you were also doing your gym workouts. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's like something in me. I, I need to be back soon. The team needs me. I cannot just stay sitting and watching. It's not me. So if I can make it the last three games, getting nine points, we never know where we can be. Let's see. Okay, can can we sh- see the stitches? Oh my god, that's like can you can you little uh, bit turn? I I'll, I'll post the yeah, photo later. It's normal, like it's oh. just because of the hit. So uh, now I'm okay. So you have a metal plate there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing. I'm training also sometimes. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. So if in 10, 15 days everything is fine, I'll make the. Last three games. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that's passion, man. That's me. Like that's my job. That's my life. I can't stay without it. You should always, you should always respect your job. Yeah. Right? True. Always. <laughs> wow, man, your hand is swollen. Yeah, because it's not. It hasn't been a long time since the hits. It's just too weak, like a bruise. So it's normal to be like. But your a, energy, the energy you're. The vibes you're giving is like I, 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 a few minutes ago I almost forgot that you have stitches in it. Yeah, yeah. Like inside, I'm yeah. doing gym normally. I'm training normally. Everything is fine. It's just I cannot like uh, contact with players because any hit will be risky for me. So just to wait 10-15 more days and I can start uh, hitting players. Mm. Players hitting me and I'm ready for it. No problem. You want to keep that clean sheet going as well. 
I hope, uh, yeah, if I miss another three, three games, that's also a problem for me. But I can tell you again, I'm proud of what I've done until now. Like missing four games and being still on top, is something like uh, I'm really proud of what I've done. And I wish I can continue it. And if perhaps I couldn't because of the lack of the games, uh, next season, 100% I'll do it. Because I'll be back in Nepal. This is confirmed. Especially maybe Super League soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see you again. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, which team in the A division did you find the most difficult or uncomfortable to play against? That bothered you too much? Look, all teams are good. But like one team I liked to play against, it was nice playing against Mashindira. Mm. A good team, a tactical good team. It was a really nice game between us. It was 0-0, the final score. Mm. So and they had uh, the Cristiano of Bhutan. Chencho. Yeah. Chencho it was really a nice game before he gets injured. Uh, because we are like maybe one of the only teams who play build up from the back as three star. We have a nice tactic for him. And Mashindra plays this also. So it was really a high game between us. Mm. Uh, yeah, Mashindra is good. All are doing good. Uh, Church maybe now are okay. They're they're on top. Uh, they were good against us, but also I told you it was a draw zero zero. Uh, they haven't won against us. Uh, Jawla here are, are like the surprise of the yeah. of the league. They're doing well. Uh, Sadabatu has a good squad. Many teams are are really good. APF play they are doing good and uh, Army yeah. Army are good. Uh, from down, uh, like they they surprise us. Sometimes they they beat us. Sometimes like they lose, mm. but all, all are good. Like yeah, yeah. like Sankata, I played against them. Maybe we won three zero, but Sankata maybe attacked against me many times. So uh, like the results are really surprising on what they are performing in the games. I wish the best for all of them. They all deserve the best. Yeah. You know, most of the clubs are like in touching distance from one another. Yeah. Like one and a half kilometer, two kilometers far. Yes, yes. It's so. this competition. This uh, <laughs> everybody like the every team member, every fan is like so jealous for his team. That's nice. But for me, I'm jealous about my team. I love my team, but I am open with everybody. I'm a friendly guy, and in life, it's nice to be like friendly with these with people. So I'm okay with everybody. I like to help, and it comes back to your life. But in this, in the field, it's only three star. Yeah. Who's the, like the funniest guy in the team? In our team, my defender Peter. Oh, <laughs> Peter Segun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a funny guy. Like okay. he plays with me on defense, and uh, we just like keep on uh, laughing together and making good results during the game. No problem for us. Easy for us. Yes. That's the best part to talk and play. You just enjoy that's yourself. The, that's the chemistry between me and him that makes it easy for us, both of us. It's really nice, yeah. Okay. So, which player has bothered you the most? Like, which player has put on a lot of shots in one game? There is no certain player, like, uh, uh, there's no certain player actually. Because you can, as you can see, as my clean sheets are talking, I have not conceded many goals here. So I think uh, not as much, <laughs> but maybe as a striker, like you can see, Masuk is uh, against me was good. Uh, our striker is really good, Martin, uh, but I haven't played against him. But like Masuk in the league is really good. Also the striker of uh, Mashindra Hafiz, he's a good, he's, he's a good player. Also, yeah, there's some strikers here doing good. Uh, the striker of Nepal Police, uh, Ahmad Hijaz from Lebanon, but we have we haven't played against each oh. other. Uh, now he's doing very good uh, also. And Yusuf Atris and Sankata, mm -hmm. Lebanese also. He has scored three goals the past two games. Yeah, yeah, all are doing good, I think. Yeah. You know, Mesuki and Stephen Binong, they play together, right? Stephen Binong? Yeah, Stephen also. Yeah. yeah, he's a good striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I don't want to forget anybody. Uh, all of them are doing good. Also, in Jawla Fofana is, is doing good. good. You cannot, like, uh, forget anybody. Like, all are doing really good. Yeah. So I have this one video on my TikTok of the commentary. I keep the clips there. Yeah. So uh, it was the 87th, 89th minute. Uh, he was playing for Sankata last season. Yeah. Cross comes in. Wonderful touch control. Outside of the foot, oh. he smashes the ball. Top right corner. Top uh -huh. pin finish. 
and i went like mentally in the comedy okay. for for fun for fun ah oh, okay 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 and about mesuki and binong they have the same hair style yeah 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 and uh, from the commentary box it's very hard to say which one is which they both have dreadlock uh, and they tie it okay yes, yes and i had to go to them and i told them and i differentiate them from either the shoes yes, yes, so yes. i write down the colors so i don't get confused <laughs> if i'm confused about the player and uh, for a time they started playing with the same color boots uh-huh. coincidentally so i went to them and told them guys either one of you tie your hair Yeah. That way, I won't uh, mistaken your name. Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. please wear a different color boot. <laughs> Stephen Binong in one of the matches, what he does is he was wearing green or uh, pink boots. And he changed. In half time, he changed. Oh. And I almost messed it up, but <laughs> some reason I saw him and yes. he scored a goal in the second half. Oh. And I told Miss Suki, "Okay, Stephen Binong, uh. because to mess up the name is yes, the yes. worst thing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that were a lot of <laughs> nice one, yeah. commentaries uh, stories from Peter Drury you know Peter Drury the commentator yes, the great yes 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 Roma has risen from the ruins <laughs> so those guys so it relates it relates yeah 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 such a nice story <laughs> but yeah I, i could i can't say all players but i don't remember all the names all of them are good also before getting injured uh, shensho i think started to play good yeah and like got gelling up He's such a good player too. Like many many players are doing well in the league, as foreigners also. Yeah. yeah. So Nepali football, I think, if given proper finances, proper uh, organizing, it can be a going, different, like, yes, different place, co- completely different. I just hope they get, they find the biggest sponsor. Like mm-hmm. last year, they had Qatar Airways. I, let's hope next season they they find, and you can see it will be somewhere else. With a longer period of time, not just for three months, it will be like wow. I think f- football in Nepal, especially, needs to be a lifestyle for yeah. the viewers because. But the, the the funny part is like everybody knows about football. Like if wherever I go, wherever I am, like everybody just knows. They just make themselves. They don't watch, mm. but they watch every game, even on TV. That's the funny part. Yeah. Like they all know each player, mm. but. Oh, oh! You won yesterday, like as if they don't know. Come on, and then they they speak alone. But you know the save you did. Oh. Well, you just asked me how was the result. You know that's the funny part. <laughs> nice in, uh, in Nepal. But everybody loves football, but they don't want to show it. I don't know why. Yeah, this country is actually crazy about football. They are yes, yes, and currently cricket is doing good. Yeah, uh, the Asian Cricket Council. Give uh, saw the crowd coming in in the ICC World Cup qualifiers, and they gave the ACC Cup to be hosted in Nepal. Uh-huh. And next year, uh, the uh, next year's 2020 cricket will be here. World Cup qualifiers, Asian region will be here. Oh, nice! We've got nice. Two, only two stadiums, yeah. no parapets, only those grasses to sit. Yes, yes, yes. But cricket is doing good. That's really good, and I hope football will do good. Yeah. Especially you now for the national team, I wish them the best. Their coach, Coach Alberto. Such a good coach from Italy, experienced coach. I hope uh, they will do a good result in the South. They deserve. They have a hard group, but no, nothing is impossible. True. Yes, yes, yes. So let's have you ever worked with or played with uh, Al- uh, our coach Vincenzo? Uh, actually, okay. I've seen his style. I've played uh, against his team. He's such a good coach, experienced coach. Uh, his CV talks about yeah, him. True. Yeah. Because the thing he did in India was amazing. Amazing, true. So I think Nepal is lucky to have him right now as their coach. I hope. Look, he won the cup of the yeah, three, nations. three nations. So nothing is hard. Sometimes in the football, you need some time to build up. Uh, you can't just like look at small period of time and need a result. Football comes from a long uh, training, long uh, program. True. So if they give him some time, of course, uh, he can do it. I think uh, you should always look for opportunity in calamity, right? Mm-hmm. So for uh, Vincenzo, since a lot of players have left, I think he has this challenge of uh, grooming a new breed of new generation It's of Nepali football. It's always nice to have a challenge because if you don't have a challenge, you exactly. can't make a result. True. So that's why it's always nice to have a challenge. Look at our coach in three star. Uh, our squad this season is not a squad who's going to take the league. Like everybody was just expecting us to be mid table. And if you can see what 
what um, Coach Mehraj did. He built up a team that's fighting for the league, that won the cup. So really, hats off for him. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I had uh, told him, oh, I'm going to start podcast soon and you're going to be my top five yeah. guys in my show. So, during the World Cup, he was guest in one of the fixtures and we were at the terrace. Uh, so, the setup was like, we had like big screens inside the studio. Yeah. But uh, smoking, eating was not allowed inside. So, everybody was just to sit outside and yeah. it was um, chilly. Yes. We used to sit outside as well. Yes. It was cold. So, we were talking there and we it just felt like a podcast. Yes, yes, yes. So I told him like we're gonna be here and my always my target is gonna be one hour. Yeah. I'm gonna finish my podcast. But with him, we went with the flow. I was looking at this clock, but I couldn't stop. Oh it was such an amazing podcast. Yes, yes. You have many oh. things to talk with him. True. He will have like everything. For every question, he will have an answer. Such an intelligent guy. We went beyond we were talking football, yes. but we went like inside football, beyond football. In Such an sense. intelligent guy. Yeah. In the field, out of the field, perfect, really. Also, I, if you meet the goalkeeper coach with him, I think it's like his brother, Uzul. Also intelligent, amazing guy. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I like I, I like with who I'm working right now. I like everything. Uh, I'm really relaxed with them. So, yeah, I just hope like results will help us right now to be somewhere else. Because we, we like if we go to AFC Cup, we can do a result with this team. Our team is well prepared. Like having a young squad with two, three experienced mm. players, us foreigners, it's really a good team. Mm. A good bench. We have a very good bench. So yeah, I think it's hard. Let's see. <laughs> like before uh, uh, approaching you. So I only saw your photos because I I'm, I'll be very honest I haven't followed the league this time yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm busy with this podcast oh, doing okay. shoots every day. So uh, I just saw you in pictures and I thought Mohammed Taha is some aged guy. Yeah. I didn't see you properly there. Uh-huh. When I saw you when you were coming, oh my god, this guy is young. <laughs> <laughs> so it was different. Uh, was like? It's always nice to be young. I do my best to be always <laughs> look young. To play more, different impre- it's always uh, nice yeah, to take care of yourself. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so, for now, the injury has hold, and I want to talk about this patience. 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 How much patience is important, right? Yeah, patience is like uh, the success of life. Uh, it's a seek is a private and secret success. If you're not patient, nothing will happen. As a goalkeeper, you need to be patient in, in the game. So, how out of the game? If you're patient, you will succeed. Patient plus being smart. You can't like just be patient and sit. No, no, no. You you know, like the fox, you need to be like the fox. That's our character. And that's why now I'm patient. No, not actually patient. I'm training every day. But uh, (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the patience. It's a um, certain time, like it's a lack of time only, and everything will be back like as it was. So, that's why I'm not worried about anything. Uh, it's a small injury that made me out for like 20, 20 days. 20 days is nothing in football compared to life. Mm. It's just because in Nepal we play every two, ga- every two days a game. I lost four, four games uh, and now another two. That's why it's just like angry for me. But like if you're in another country and having one game a week, maybe I would have just lost two games. Mm. Um, no problem I tell you it's part of the game if I'm back soon everything will be fine and if not just this season will be over for us no problem and next season is soon and uh, for me if 3 Star wants me to be with them of course I'll be with them because what have they they have done to me they deserve all the best from me in the stadium and out of the stadium wow. yes <laughs> I want to talk uh, about like there's always been highs in life. You might have faced some lows in life yeah. as well. So can we like talk about that? When was the point that you felt really low in your career? Uh, sometimes uh, like in uh, Corona, when Corona happened, um, when sitting at home, not doing anything, uh, Suddenly, an offer comes to me from Maldives. That was really nice. Like, uh, feeling down. In Lebanon, we didn't have a league. And just one team calls me. We have AFC Cup. It was Eagles. 
Mm-hmm. That was really the, the nice push in my life. Yeah. Okay. So a low backed by a high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's also the discipline you put into your game, your effort. True. You know, I never stop training. Every day I work out on myself. It's uh, how can I say the to continue to be consistency. A, consistency. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. True. That's always a success you can have in life, in football, and everything. Apart from goalkeeping, yeah. If someone like uh, if you get get the opportunity to play on the field, uh-huh. right? So which position would you like to play? Which position? Either striker, either centre back. No uh-huh. problem. Both. You, you would be amazing as a striker. Yeah, I would like to be a get striker. all the headers, especially <laughs> in Nepal. Yeah, it's nice to be as, as a striker, but I just love being goalkeeper right now. It's my passion. It's it's me saving the team. That's me. Do you have like uh, your favorite uh, save ever? Uh, yeah, I had it uh, maybe in March before I come one day. I was playing with one team. It was like an impossible uh, mission for me. The team just had two points in the league and they just had another 10 games. And I took this uh, this uh, mission and I went to them to help them stay in the Premier League in Lebanon. And we reached until the final game and we needed three points in this game. We were winning 1-0. On the minute 85, they get a penalty. So I was like, everything is gone for us. But no, 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 no. I need to help them stay because the next day I was coming to three star. And I saved this penalty. Counter-attack, we scored the second. Wow. It was the best for me. I finished. I went to the airport. I came to three star. Wow. It was really, yeah, the best. The best save. Okay. This reminds me of that game. I was lucky enough. I just went home. I switched on the TV. And Watford were playing Leicester. Yeah. It was the game. Uh, whoever won yeah. goes to the playoffs. Playoffs, yes. Right? It was, I think, 2-2. Two, two and yeah. they took, they saved the penalty and they took a counter-attack. Almunia. It was exactly like the same. Just 85 minutes, not 90. Oh. It was really the best. It was Tripoli FC versus Sajas FC in Lebanon Premier League. It was really nice, yeah. Almunia saves back-to-back. He also saves the rebound. Yeah. Now, Watford are in attack here. Sell your mind, yeah. Looks for Dini. Do not stretch your eyes. This is actually happening. Like, That's the line. Yeah. I was I've was watched to, it many times. Me too. Because I think these kind of videos lift us up. Right? True, true, true. And how the fans jumped on the players and the fans were on the stadium. It was really nice. So, recently, uh, I was coaching my college football team. I teach yeah. as well. So, they just came and told me like, you... Please coach our team. It was of seven aside futsal. Yeah. So uh, I felt like, okay, this is a challenge for me since yeah. I always talk about football. Yes. Uh, so I went, okay. And we gave it a shot. The team was good. Uh-huh. Uh, big credits to them. I just helped them get their head straight, yes. make the positions. And I didn't work much on them. So let them play, let them enjoy. So uh-huh. in the quarterfinal, uh, the team that might play us in the final, I was watching their game. Uh-huh. It was the British College. Yes. So their coach was saying three, four points. And he was talking only about those points. You do this, you do this. Yeah, so I yeah. noted it down. So next time, and they, their game went to the penalties. So what I did was I noted which goalkeeper, uh, which player shoots where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gave it to my goalkeeper. Uh-huh. So And he saw and he said, I'm not going to remember this. So what I said was they were uh, play, taking yeah, the penalty yeah. there. I told him, look at me I'll tell before... You. Yes. I'll do this and this. Yeah. So we dive there. First one, the other side. Uh. Second one, we scored. It was best of three. We scored. And we had to stop again. He looks at me. Does this. I said like, this. Uh. He jumps. And he jumps. And he saves. Saves. Our guy scores. <laughs> Good. Oh. This is amazing. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. You oh. must have like uh, certain players. You Look, the guy. Uh, I have uh, something about penalties. Like this season, I've saved, saved five from Lebanon and uh, and in uh, Nepal. In the cup, I have saved three. In Lebanon, I have saved two. I have something special about it. I like. I know how to read the player's mm-hmm. mind and how to play with his mind. Uh, it's something good. Also, like two penalties were missed on me here. They were like just out of the okay. goal. So it's like uh, funny because I know how to play with their mind. Uh, penalty is not like for any goalkeeper. It's just 
a special like how a player will have a special with shooting, special with heading, something special for us. Mm. And I like it a lot. I like to be in penalties. It's uh, something special for me. I just read his mind, no problem. The rest is enough. <laughs> I really hate penalties. Why? Because I have trust issues since childhood. When Argentina 2002 uh, World Cup, they were playing Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, Batish Tuta wins a penalty. Uh. And I jumped in the air and my sister was like, don't celebrate early. They, he might miss. The shot was saved, but he scores the rebound. Uh. Since then, I have trust issues with penalties. Yeah, that's life. That's football. You, you, when it enters or when it's saved, it's saved. When the referee finishes the game. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot like just be happy before something happens. Of course. You remember the 1990 World Cup where Roberto Baggio took Italy to the final yeah. and finally missed the penalty. Sad. It happens. That's, uh, that's life. That's football. Like, not every day is for you. True. Yeah. All the greatest players in the world have missed penalties. True, true. Messi has missed penalties. Copa America. Ronaldo has missed. Ronaldo has missed. So it's normal. <laughs> it's also the goalkeeper's job to save. So it's not always a goal. <laughs> How do you find uh, our grounds? Uh, as gay, match grounds are good, but we have a problem with training grounds. Like, mm, yeah. They're not really uh, taking care of them, so it's dusty and yeah. But as much ground, it's Ranga Sala is nice. Yeah. Chai Sala, I like it. It's a small one, but it's nice. An- Chasal. Chasal, yeah. yeah. Anfa is okay. It's okay. But maybe not for big games. Yeah. Not for like playing three-star Mashindera, three-star church boys. It, it's very small for us because we play football. Maybe it's good for the small games. Yeah. Those games need to be played under the lights on a Friday, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, with fans on TV. Pff, oh. This is... This is the game we're talking about. Exactly. This is the game that the fans will wait for. Mm. And us players will wait for. Yeah. You know what? When I was in college, yeah. maybe uh, 10 years back, 10, 12 years back. So, Nepal was playing India. Uh-huh. AFC, uh, a SAF champion. No. AFC. Or SAF champion. SAF championship. Yes. <laughs> so, what we used to do at the time was we had this culture. Sit around a restaurant there. Yeah. Drink a lots of vodka. And go to the stadium singing. By the time I sat in my, uh, I sat behind our goalkeeper, and yeah. in the halftime we used to chill, I would have lost my voice. <laughs> we, we we did nothing. Yeah, yeah, uh, just bad. showering. Just, and yeah, yeah. Because we got in the vibes. Yes, yes, yes. So I think yes. that is needed to some limit. Like Fridays, Sometimes, nice, people yes. need to take their family uh-huh, there. Okay, yeah. you get ready. I'm coming from the office. Your I'll kids, you everybody, just mm. go watch the game. As fans, will, as, as players will be happy, and fans will enjoy it. So I hope the federation will look at this point and think about it and fix it it will be really good I was 3 years old when my dad took me to Rangashala oh. and he didn't let me drink water because if I drank water I had to pee and the toilet was not good at that time uh-huh. so I sat in the VIP section and that was the time I got caught with the f- thing called football and you liked it yeah. you know we also had a Nepali uh, Maradona his name was Modi Shaha uh-huh. He okay. looked like Maradona. Really? He played like Maradona. Even the hairstyle was similar. Uh-huh. And the reason Monang Morshangdi wears the Argentina kit is because of him. him. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. Yeah, especially also Monang when they play with three star, it's like the classic of Nepal. Yes. Uh, and many fans come. Monang and three star, it's yeah, one yeah. of the biggest games. One of the biggest fan games, yeah. yeah. There used to be a time MMC had one of the biggest fan base. Uh huh. <coughs> And they would have their flags, MMC. The stadium used to echo, uh-huh. MMC. Oh, that's, that's nice. Cool. That's really nice. Yeah. Now, uh, during the uh, Nepal national games, yeah. like the game Nepal plays, national team match, people come. So, and at that time, we do the Mexican wave. It's, uh-huh. it's there since the 90s. That's nice. So, uh, we turn our phones on and off. You know, this singer, Brian Adams. Well, yes, so yes. he was here, I think, 2010. Oh, okay. And one of the best concerts that happened in Rangashala, I think in Nepal itself, yes. oh, mesmerizing. Oh, that was nice. So yeah. I still have that ticket with me. <laughs> That's nice, really. <laughs> so, uh, if there's any concerts, I'll invite sure. you. We'll go together. Number, we'll go together. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'll, I'm here now in Nepal. I'm not leaving soon, so yeah. no worries. So the, the, I like the part that you said, the positivity on you that you said, I'll 
at least play last two games. That the, the yeah hunger can be seen. Of course, and I need to be ready for the next uh, stage. Maybe NSL is in September, so I need to be ready for NSL. So long season ahead of me. That'll twenty be... days will not stop me from anything. It's just twenty days, yeah. no problem. It's yeah. a small bump in the road. Small bump. Sometimes you need to relax at when least... you're driving a car and needs yeah. like some uh, renovation. <laughs> no problem. True, true. Also, I think these these are the things, these are the incidents that builds character in you. Yeah, true, true. It teaches you, and it gives you time to reflect on yourself. Gives you experience. Yes. I remember all these days later on. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> And so we've come towards the end of our show for this episode. I'm really happy to be with you. Yeah. It was a really nice... Uh, Same year. <laughs> really, it was really nice and interesting. Uh, we talked too much. It's really nice. And we should meet soon to go yes, for the concert. Probably is. We'll take oh, Sanjay as well. Of course, yes. Sanjay on the Barca. Sanjay on the Barca. And uh, I want to like just thank, thank him for meeting with you. Yeah, same here. I was so caught up that I forgot to tell him yeah. that you need to be in my show. I thank him and I want to thank you. I want to thank all of you. Uh, especially I want to thank Three Star to being my family, uh, to being next to me, all Three Star. From the management, president, coach, players, everybody there. I don't want to forget anybody. And the fans especially, my heart, Three Star. Thank you so much for coming, brother, in such and small motors, short notice. Yes, yes, yes. I hope... If possible, let's do one before you leave. Of course. That'll be fun. Yeah. You can reflect on the whole league of itself. Of course. Sure, sure, sure. We're just ha- all, more than halfway there. No worries. But your story is not yeah. yet complete. <laughs> it's not yet and complete. You know, I was talking to Santos Saukaladai. Yeah. I have this thing. When you want it so much from your heart, the universe conspires. Mm. Sometimes it's not yeah. in your hand. Yeah. It will. The universe will come conspire and you will play Hopefully. some games. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All the best for that. Thank you a lot. And I'll see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>